Yo guys, what is up? Um, no, go away. Uh, welcome to uh, a new video, and in today's video, I'm gonna basically be showing you guys how to install mods in the easiest way possible. Um, I've already recorded a video like this before, um, but I was not aware of how easy it actually is to install mods. Uh, I was actually informed by uh, one of my subscribers uh, how you actually can do this like really really simply so in this folder here I have a list of a bunch of 1.7.2 mods um, instead of leaving a link to every mod individually I'm basically just going to leave you guys uh, the link to the Minecraft Forge page which has all uh, like all the uh, all the mods there's like more mods so yeah, I think that's gonna be a lot more easy uh, than just linking every mod individually, because that would take kind of a long time. Um, uh, basically, what I did is I just went through here and I clicked on a bunch of mods that sounded pretty interesting, and I just downloaded them. Um, what you will also need for this is you will also need to download Minecraft Forge. So I'll leave a link to this in the description. Basically what you want to do is just go ahead and find 1.7.2 and I'm just going to pick this one. It doesn't really matter which one you pick. Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, so I'm just going to use this one. Uh, just find whatever uh, Minecraft Forge you're going to be using. So um, this is 1.7.2. It will also work for 1.7.3, 1.7.4, 1.7.5. And yeah. And then eventually, when 1.8 comes out, uh, eventually when 1.8 comes out, uh, I don't know why it does this sometimes. Give me a sec. Uh, so this will basically work for any version uh, that comes out uh, after like 1.6.4, because obviously that's when they introduce the new launcher. <clears throat> So yeah, when 1.8 comes out, eventually when there is a Minecraft Forge release for that, this will work. So basically, once you get your Minecraft Forge, uh, just go ahead and save it into uh, somewhere where you'll remember. So I'll just save it in my downloads here. Okay, my downloads doesn't seem to want to work. Uh, we'll save it on my desktop. Alright. Alright. Okay. So now we have that saved on my desktop. It's right here. Oh, oopsie. It's right here. So what you're going to want to do now is just basically double click it and you'll get this nice interface. Uh, you want to make sure you have client, um, install client, check, and you just want to go ahead and click OK. <clears throat> and it's going to go through a process. And as you can see it says successfully, um, you know, installed the client for uh, Minecraft Forge. So now that you did that, it's this simple. All you have to do is go to <coughs> excuse me go to percent app data percent uh, you want to just go ahead and navigate to your dot minecraft uh, go ahead and open your mods folder and then all you need to do is take all your mods and drag it in as simple as that uh, it really could not get any simpler. Uh, that is just really, really good. I am really happy with what Minecraft has done with the mod system. It's much simpler than it used to be. And, yeah, you don't need any third-party installers or anything like that. It's just that easy. So, uh, there's one more thing you need to do. You need to go ahead and click Edit Profile. And you want to scroll down until you find your 1.7.2 forge because this is the thing that you have all your mods and so just go ahead and click save profile and you can go ahead and click launch <clears throat> uh, right now it's just um, you know launching all the stuff obviously since this was my first time launching it it took a little bit longer uh, but this should basically connect to your 1.7.2 jar. So make sure before you um, install Minecraft Forge for 1.7.2, you've already launched Minecraft on uh, the release 1.7.2, uh, or else it could possibly not work. So yeah, as you can see, we are launching Minecraft.
And you can probably tell by how long it's taking to launch that there are a couple mods installed. <coughs> Alright, so as you can see, we are running 18 mods. Uh, oops, 18 mods, Optifine, Minecraft Forge, FML, if I go to options, you'll see we got shaders. We got Optifine. Uh, let's just go into this world, I guess. So as you can see, we got the shaders going. Uh, we got advanced genetics going. We got more creatures. Uh, build craft. Another addition to build craft. And yeah, we got we got iron chests. If I go ahead and type in like uh, diamond, uh, you'll see we got the diamond chests. Uh, the diamond p transport pipes, you know, all that. Like, ooh, I've never seen these. Uh, I've never seen those. Uh, so, yeah, we got the diamond chests. <coughs> uh, there's even a dirt chest I've never seen before. So. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Um. Yeah, that basically sums up this tutorial. Uh, to recap, all you have to do is just go to the link in the description and uh, navigate to the Minecraft Forge page. Uh, Minecraft Forge page. And go ahead and install the Minecraft Forge for 1.7.2 or like 1.6.4 or 1.8 when that eventually comes out. Whichever version you're going to be modding. Uh, then basically what you want to do, once you have that installed, go ahead and navigate to your percent app data percent dot minecraft, then mods, and go ahead and drag all your mods that you wish to install into that folder. Then once you launch the Minecraft launcher, you go ahead and change your versions to the Minecraft Forge version that it installed, and then all your mods should be working. So, yeah guys, that's basically it for this tutorial. If you've had any issue whatsoever during this whole entire process uh, go ahead and leave your concern or whatever in the description leave whatever's happening uh, in the description and I will try to do my best to answer you if I don't answer you hopefully someone else will be nice enough in the comments to go ahead and reply to you um, go ahead and show this video with your friends and if you are interested in getting this theme or any other cool looking theme go ahead and click the link in the description and i will take you to my video i made on how to get custom windows themes so yeah anyway guys that's basically it for this tutorial if this helped you go ahead and click the like button uh make sure you guys are subscribing uh go and check out my feed the beast let's play i think it's a pretty enjoyable series and yeah i will see you guys later